Hi, this is Mike with Apple Irrigation. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some just basic lawn care tips. I get a lot of cus uh, questions from my customers about this. Probably the number one thing you want to do with your yard, especially here in the Midwest, is keep a very tall cutting height. You want a very bare minimum of a three and a half inch cutting height. Now, what this does for you is a couple of things. Number one, it shades the surface of the soil more. And shading the surface of the soil uh, holds moisture in the soil. Your yard will actually use a lot less water. Number two, when you cut short, you're cutting more of this stemmier part of the plant right here. And cutting this stemmier part of the plant actually contributes to thatch buildup. You want to cut very tall, which is cutting the leafier part of the plant. This will not contribute to thatch buildup. Speaking about thatch a little bit, don't ever, ever aerate or dethatch your lawn in the springtime of the year. Anytime you disturb the soil, you're exposing annual weed seeds to light and a weed seed can be in your soil and remain viable for up to 40 years. So anytime you expose that weed seed to light, you're gonna get a lot of weeds coming. Now, if you wait in the Midwest till after about August 15th or so, the little biological clock in the weed seed says, hey, it's too late in the season to germinate and they're not gonna grow. So if you feel like you need to aerate or dethatch, you really need to wait until after August 15th or so. Um, fertilizing. Just keep your lawn fertilized. We usually do it about three or four times a year. You can use a professional service or uh, do it on your own. If you see a kind of a light green hue to your lawn, that's an indication that it's short of nitrogen. Uh, how about some watering? Well, a lot of people turn on their sprinkler system in the beginning of the year, around uh, early May, late April. They set it to run and it just runs three, four, five times a week, um, all season long. What I do with my sprinkler system is I leave it off 90% of its life. And I wait until there's a little purplish hue that shows up in the grass. Once I see that hue, then I will turn on the system and let it run a couple of times, and then I'll just turn the controller to the off position. Not sure if this is gonna show up on camera, but here we have that purplish hue showing up here. There's also two other spots, one right here and another one right there. It'll typically be the same spot in your lawn each time. Just wait for that hue to show up and then water your lawn. This will keep challenging the roots of your grass plant and allow the grass to drive down, the roots to drive, dive down deeper and your, your lawn will use less and less moisture. Another thing about tall cutting height is it's going to naturally choke out the weeds. You see in our lawn here, there's very little weeds. Um, most of this is because of tall cutting height. If you get the grass to grow more vigorously and you uh, keep it watered and a little bit of fertilizer, the grass will naturally choke out um, the weeds and also the quack grass and crabgrass. Now we're gonna go, I just wanna talk a little bit about lawnmower settings. So here's a couple of tips on lawnmowers. Uh, number one, if you own a bagger, throw it away, forget you own it. You don't ever, ever wanna bag your lawn. And the main reason is, is because when you bag, you're taking about 60% of the nutrients from your grass and throwing them away. Number two, we talked about tall cutting height. You never ever, especially in the, in the Midwest, want to cut shorter than three and a half inches. 
The way you do that is, and most with most mowers, uh, the lawnmower is going to be on the very highest setting. You find the blade under here, and you take a tape measure and you measure to the edge of the blade. This mower happens to be set at about two inches. Um, this should be set, uh, as I said, to about three and a half inches. If you follow these tips, tall cutting height, in my opinion, is the most important. Fertilizer is second. Watering, although it doesn't need to be done very often, is third. And then try not to aerate or dethatch. I promise you, you'll have a beautiful looking lawn. Hit the like and subscribe button, and thanks for watching.